All right, how's it going, guys? This is the very first episode of my podcast, Magical Day Podcast, as it's going to be called. Um, today we're going to be going on about lots of things to do with Disney. Um, give you guys a little bit. If you guys haven't read the description, this is going to be everything about Disney podcast, going through the parks games, movies, TV shows, um, any big news that comes out, um, and then sometimes we're going to be talking about a little bit of other stuff like video games, uh, the video game industry and other stuff like that, that we can get, but little housekeeping right now is subscribe if you're new, it helps, it, it, it helps a lot, it comes a long way, um, Disney games mostly, and yeah, and talk about Disney, but you know, so yeah, and um, the other person over here, the other person on so um, i seen this going around from a lot of people on Twitter, so that's where I get most of my information on Dis- uh, Disney news is this. New Ma- new Disney Band Plus is coming to Disney Cruise Line. Magic Band Plus technology used at Walt Disney World Resort and Disneyland Resort will make its way to Disney Cruise Line, starting with a preview on selected Disney Wish sailing this summer. So, mm, that's cool. They want to use the Magic Band technology on the cruise lines now because usually you just get like a card you put it into the whole the thing on the on the cruise and then that's it so that's pretty cool um but that's fine that's cool um the band will be referenced to as disney band plus that's okay but can we use our magic bands our magic band pluses on the disney cruise line i don't know on the ships while well, work on your room door changing charging to your flow etc however magic band plus purchases at walt disney world and disneyland will work on the ship okay so magic band purchases and walt disney world and disneyland will work on the ship you will still need your key to the world card when visiting uh, visiting ports to call okay that's cool that, that's kind of cool and then i also heard that when you get off the ship the magic bands will work on in in um the parks yeah yeah in the parks okay. uh there is no new information about when disney band plus will be available on the other ships after the internal test so there's nothing on that but that's cool but i heard that um you get off the ship, you go to Disney Park, and apparently they still work. So that's 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 kind of cool. So, um, what's your kind of opinion on that? Uh, I think I like the fact that they're changing it up a bit. Yeah. It's different. It's more. So like that they can. It's not the same thing over and over. Mm. Yeah. Like they're not using the same like magic band over and over, like in the same usage. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But now since they're putting them into the on the ships i wonder if your magic band that you buy at disney world can you go to disneyland and use it and vice versa that's what i kind of wonder but i don't know maybe that's not gonna happen i don't know so um during the weekend during the easter weekend um star wars celebration happened um, a lot came out from the Star Wars Celebration, so we're going to get into that, but the one thing I want to get into before I get into all the news about the Star Wars stuff 
um, let me find it real quick is so since it ended today japan see you in japan so star wars celebration is going into japan 2025 star wars celebration april 18th to the 20th that is cool that is going to japan now i uh, don't know where it recently happened but that's fine um that is fine so now we're getting into all the star wars stuff that happened during um the thing so since it what happened um new trailer drop for uh new trailer drop for um indiana jones dial of the destiny that is cool um i like the trailer it looks really really good that's the last trailer i think that's coming out um that's coming out for um indiana jones dial of destiny it drops june 30th now before I get into all the other Star Wars stuff, uh, what do you think about Star Wars going to Japan? What's your opinion on that? Mm. My opinion. So my opinion would be. Um, hmm. It's tricky. See, because. I don't know about the language much barrier. about Star Wars because I'm not a Star Wars fan, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's not my like go to. Yeah. So I wouldn't know where to put my input on this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My opinion, okay, my thing is on this, it's going to Japan. Everywhere else that they've been, it's been like English speaking countries. So everybody speaks English. But now they're going to Japan. I don't know how they're going to do this because the language barrier there in Japan is not English. So. That's my opinion on that, on that part, but who knows. Alright, so, um, now, Ahsoka, it dropped, it dropped the trailer for Ahsoka. It looks amazing, that's arriving in August 2023. Um, I can't wait for Ahsoka. I um I can't wait for anything anything Star Wars realistically because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I still need to watch um Star Wars um 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 I forget the name of it. Um I know I need to watch the Bad Batch. The Clone Wars, I need to finish the Clone Wars and then I need to finish Bad Batch and I also need to finish Andar. I'm working on those, working on those. I'm probably going to finish Andar first because it's not that long as Clone Wars. Um, but Ahsoka is dropping August 2023. And then uh, three new movies announced on set before in Dawn of the Jedi on set after nine and more during the modern period. So we're getting three new movies. I cannot wait for more movies to come. Um, I don't know what what are these movies called. Um, I know one of them is going to be with uh, with Ray. Fifteen years after some other other one, I forget which one that was. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's cool there. Um, I can't wait for that. And then Acolyte. Um, just announced at Star Wars Celebration, Acolyte is an upcoming original Star Wars series from Lucas coming to Disney Plus in 2024. We didn't, uh, they showed off some clips. I was looking for the clips online, couldn't find any clips online about Acolyte. Um, I didn't really hear much about it because it's Easter weekend, so I was spending time with family 
and stuff like that so I couldn't hear much on what was going on with Star Wars because I was busy with my family and busy with my girl's family and stuff like that so I couldn't really hear my I didn't really watch all the Star Wars stuff so I couldn't catch it all which is okay because holidays are about spending time with family so yeah but Acolyte is coming in 2024 um that's cool that is cool there um I talked about the Indiana Jones Ahsoka I already talked about uh, may I say something yeah so for those who haven't watched the Mario movie what's your opinion on Jack Black and him being Bowser on my opinion yeah Hey, Jack Black being Bowser was a great pick in my opinion. Like what I've heard from the trailers and everything else on that, he he is really, really, really good. Um, Chris Chris Pratt, he what I've heard from him in the trailers, he sounds alright. Um, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong couldn't pick anybody better for Donkey Kong. Couldn't pick anybody better for Bowser. Those two are really, really good, but. Now, when Jack Black was what singing, Princess hmm. Now, what about Princess Peach? Princess Peach, I I don't know about her because I never heard her. I never seen her her acting in anything else. Who played Princess okay. Peach? So I can't really give my opinion on her. But for Jack Black, he did a song for the Mario movie, and it's actually in the Mario movie. I listened to it because of twitter and stuff like that it his singing is really really good if you guys know jack black he does tenacious d so it's really really good but the thing is that's not the jack that's not jack black that i know from tenacious d from his songs for tenacious d i'm not gonna say the, the names of his song because it's i want this to be family friendly like my YouTube is, so his singing in that is okay, is great, but it's not the one I know. Um, what's your opinion on the song? I think the song's okay. I don't think it's the best. It wouldn't be something Jack Black would do. Yeah, it's just not something that I've used. I'm used to him singing. It's not his style per se. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get on to this more solar stuff. So, um, the the girl that plays Ray, uh, Daisy Wiley will appear in an, like I said, another um Star Wars film set after the Rise of Skywalker. So it's set after the Rise of Skywalker. Um, so she's going to be back in it. Great. Um, I love how Disney and Lucas films, um, I love how they always try to get the same actor that played the original, that played the characters in the other movies, like the original movies. I love how they do that because I don't like how you get this great actor playing, what's this say, you get Bill Farmer playing doing the voice of Goofy, he's great at doing the voice of Goofy, he's great at doing the voice of Hop Hop in, um, Amphibia, great show, you guys go watch it, um, I love, like, he's great in those, great, doing those voices, and if they would get somebody else to do Goofy, and not Bill Farmer, it's like, oh, is that person gonna do good, just as him, so I love how Disney is always trying to get these characters to get these actors to come back to do these to do their their roles that they already did before to do their role before because I can't really think of anybody else that would do a better way play Ray do do better acting for Ray than her your opinion What's your question? Sorry. Hey? Yes, yeah, I, I have the same opinion. 
Okay. I think, yeah. Okay, so they're gonna be a crossover trilogy movie with the Disney Plus series with Franklin Dessert set between Rote Rogen and The Force Awakenings. Okay, that's cool. Um I love how they're trying to use like other like the T V shows do crossovers and stuff like that and they're trying to use it go off of like okay this movie is going off of after this tv show and stuff like that um i like that keep it up keep it up i already talked um aqualite like i said 2024 i already talked about that okay so just announced star wars uh, uh, okay i'm not going to say celebration because we have right right carbat horn kina karina Quer. sorry if i'm pronouncing these wrong guys um i'm really bad at pronouncing names um and Robert Therma Smith join Jerry Law as the cast of Scouting Crew. Now Scouting Crew, um, it's about it's supposed to be about like these kids or something like that. I don't know much about it. I didn't listen to it, but that's supposed to come out this year. Um, I don't know. Um. I don't know when it's coming out. It just says 2023. Um, I don't know when that's supposed to come out, guys. Yeah, it just says it's supposed to be a, a series for Disney Plus, yeah, I think. Um, so it doesn't really say when it's coming out, which kind of, kind of, kind of sucks, but. Um, uh, Daisy Wally returning to Star Wars movie. Uh, a lot of this stuff I already briefly talked about. Okay, so here we go. End our season two scheduled to premiere in 2024. So, another uh season for Andar that would be season two that's coming out in 2024. Now, Andar, um, let me see how many episodes I watched of Andar, so I can give you a little my little opinion on Andar. Um, so I'm on episode three right now. Um, Andar, see Andar, it, it like the cinematography and everything for that, beautiful, beyond beautiful. I cannot wait for in season two now. But I'm gonna finish Andar. I'm probably gonna watch it after I'm done this. Um, but it's so beautiful. I can't wait for Andar season two. But who plays the main actor? The main act. The main um character in the in the show. The, who plays him? He's really good at acting for it and all that. He is really really good. Um, I cannot wait for season two now. I still got to finish it, like I said, but Andar is really, really good. Um, so, um, here is another one. James Mangold directing a new Star Wars film aimed, to, aimed at exploring the original origins of the Force. So, I don't know who he is. But he's supposed to be doing directing a one that's going over the origin of the forest. I'm actually really happy they're going over the the origin of the forest because we don't know much. We know what the forest is and what it does, but we don't know much about the origins of the forest. Who who was the first person to have the forest? Who was the first to Wield the force and then how how they go down from to pass down to other people and stuff like that like that's what i'm that's what we don't know of that's the thing we don't know so i'm actually pretty happy what it when that they're doing it i don't know when it's happening when it's coming out anything like that but i'm quietly happy that um to title it's a trivial titled dawn of the jedi 
It's directed as a sp sprawling barbel epic 25 years in the past before the current correcting in any known timeline in the Star Wars universe. So that's cool. Um, alrighty. So, a timeline show during the Star Wars celebration suggested Lucasfilms is finally ready to explore the Old Republic era. So, the Old Republic era, in addition to new movies, movie by James McAmore that will explore the dawn of the force. So, I already said that. Um. First scouting crew footage, we didn't release it. So the movie about the new Jedi Order with Rey will take place, so this will take place 15 years after the rise of Skywalker. Gru, Grogu will be 91 years old. So like I said about the Rey one, going back to it, I was I actually was right about it. It's supposed to be 15 years after and Grogu will be 91. I don't know if he will be practicing the force or what's happening with Grogu in it, but that is cool. I love how they're doing this. Um, so, blue milk on top, fireworks in space. These are just a few experiences you will discover during the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser voyage. Um, all right, so. For now, now we're getting into the parks. For all you park goers, for, for anybody that loves going to the parks or anything like that, here's for all you park goers. Now, I want to ask you, have you been to any, I want to ask you, have you been to any Disney park? Oh no, I have not. There any. Alrighty, now here's another question. If you go, which one would you like to go to first? I would actually like to go to Disney World. That's what it's called. Yes, and why is that? Uh, I think it's more because of the animal. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um now, if you guys been to my YouTube, guys watch me on YouTube and stuff, you do know that I've been to Disney World back in 2019. And I went to Disney World first because it had more parks. It had more parks. You got like Disney, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, plus um, Disney Springs as they call it at Disney World. I don't know why they won't call it Downtown Disney like they do at Disneyland, but I don't know. Disney knows, Disney knows what they're doing, I don't, but, um, I went there because there's more parks, like I said, but I wish I went to Disneyland first, because Disneyland is Walt's park, it's Walt's original park, and that's why I wish I went first, because Disneyland is Walt's park. Mm. Now they did keep a lot of things that Walt wanted into the park, but it's more of his brother's park than it was Walt because Walt passed before the Walt before Disney Disney World could have got done. But yeah, so I didn't go on Star Tours. I didn't go on Star Tours, but I did go into uh, Galaxy's Edge because that was there when I went. And I did go on to Millennium Falcon. I didn't go on to um, the other one, Rise of Resistance. I didn't go on that one because that wasn't made. That wasn't done being built when I was there. So, but for everybody that went, that go, that loves going on to Star Tours and stuff like that, um, here is stuff for you for um, Disney, uh, Disneyland Paris. Uh, Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and Disneyland Paris. Um, so, here we go. 
new Star new Star Tours adventures coming in 2024, and new DJ Rex. Uh, R three X. It's it's D, D, uh, DJ Rex playlist and more from Star Wars Celebration Europe. Oh, so okay, it happening in Europe, I guess. Check out the Disney Disney Parks blog for all updates from Disney Parks where Star Wars comes to life. So, um, what I read about that is that they're putting new um new stories into um star tours um new adventures coming in 2024 for star tours um bright signs i am right right into you from london where we just wrapped our walt disney imagineer panel at star star wars celebration 2023 so uh, apparently they're getting more it's supposed to get more stories more adventures and stuff like that however you want to put it into star tours so that is cool i've never been on star tours um some people like it some people don't like it uh, i don't know it's a little iffy with people on star tours but um some people like it some people don't um so yeah so i uh, knew that so here we go um, oh, I still need to watch Tales of the Jedi. I still need to watch that, too. I know, I know, I know, guys. I'm falling behind on the Star Wars stuff. I know. But it's just Disney Plus comes out with so much stuff. I'm trying to watch everything so I can watch it all and get you guys, a, like, a review or, like, a review and stuff like that or my opinions on it and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to watch everything. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Not even just the Star Wars. Not even just the Disney Plus stuff. There's stuff on Netflix I want to watch. There's stuff on Prime I want to watch. Crave. There's just so much stuff coming out. It's hard for me to watch it all. But I'm mainly focused on the Disney stuff. Just for you guys. So. Yeah. You know. Oh. Now. Since I have you here. So. What's your opinion on Disney Plus? Disney Plus. Uh, I think Disney Plus is great. It's good for kids. It's good for adults. It's good for everybody. Okay, now what's your opinion on them putting in adult stuff in inter international? They're starting to roll it out a little bit in the States, but it's more international. What's your opinion on them putting in like Daredevil, Criminal Minds, um, other like Family Guy, The Simpsons, American Dad, Futurama, all that adult stuff. What's your opinion on them putting that in for us adults? I, okay, I think it's more... I think some things would be okay, like that, because it's family friendly. Mm hmm. Because, like, everybody watches it, it's on TV. Yeah, yeah. But Family Guy and American Dad, that's like, it's more. Your kids don't want to watch that, they want to watch Disney. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's all. Disney Plus should be putting that on Disney. Okay, now. No, I didn't say this, but here's this. They have ways where you could put it where if you have younger kids, like, I don't know, I would say maybe. Fifth, maybe 13 and, 13 and younger, what's this say? Maybe they have a way where you could put it where those kids cannot go on to your profile they can't go they can't leave their profile they have parental controls where kids can't go on and watch family guy the simpsons criminal minds uh what's it say um futurama, futurama um 
um, Bob's Burgers, Kurama Man, and all that. They don't have that kind of. They yeah. have parental parental controls for that. So now, what do you think after hearing that? Okay, well, even with the parental controls, there's still ways a kid could get on. There is, there is. If they know, if the kid's really smart with tech, they're gonna know. They're gonna yeah. find ways to get on it. But at least they have that parent controls for kids that don't know how to do that. They could just go on and watch Mickey Mouse, Goofy. Go on and watch all the Disney, the yeah. Disney original stuff because I of still don't that. Think they should have that on Disney Plus. Yes, it's, but it's for Disney. It's not for. Yes, but the reason Disney put it on there because I'm gonna say us adults, we're all kids. At, some some us adults are kids at heart. Okay, we're kids at of heart. Course. We love Disney. We love all these kids stuff. You know, we love our Nintendos. We love our you know kid the kid stuff. We love it. We all grew up with it, and we're kids at heart like me. I'm a big, I always say to people, yes, I'm a kid at heart because of Disney and Nintendo and all that. I'm a kid at heart. And I'm just using Nintendo as an example, guys. That's the only other kid thing I can think of besides Lego, but I'm not a big Lego person. But I know, I know, I know there's people out there that love Lego. And I'm not knocking you guys for it. But there are kid, there are like us adults that are big, huge Disney fans. But. They also came out and put that on there because us adults are like, well, we need to have variety on there. They need to have variety and stuff on there for adults. And you're like, yeah, we got our Star Wars. We got our Marvel. We we got our Disney stuff that we do love. But we want to also have our Disney, we also want to have our, our adult stuff that we love, like Clint on Minds, Family Guy, The Simpsons, American Dad, Bob's Burgers, Koala Man, that's a new so, new show that that's on yes. there. Our Solar Opposites and all that. We want to have that on there, but then there's also the adults are going, come on, we don't need that on there. This is Disney. We don't need that kind of stuff on there. Yes, Disney bought Fox, so Disney can for all that Fox stuff on the Disney Plus. But for me personally, I'm okay with it because I do every now I I do put on like Family Guy and Simpsons and all that. I don't really like them that much. I like Bob's Burgers and Soul Opposites. They're hilarious. Those are adults. Sh- those. Noises and I. Yes, but hold on. Though I do love. Solar Opposites and Bob's Burgers, those are not for kids. I'm going to say right now, those are not for kids. Those are mainly for adults. But if you're okay with your kids watching it, that's fine. But I do want to, uh, but also it's, I put those on just so I can just put it on and fall asleep. And I don't want to watch like something Star Wars or something new Disney show that that's coming out. A new Disney show that just came out, like Journey to the Center of the Earth. That's a new Disney show. Um, did I say that right? Um, that is. I'm pretty sure that is a new Disney show that just came out. Um, yeah, Journey to the Journey into the Center of the Earth. Yes, that is a new Disney show. Like I am gonna watch that, and I'm gonna come into this podcast and review it for you guys. Um. Um, real quick before I get on everything else, I am gonna start reviewing Disney shows and movies and come into the podcast and talk about them on here, review it and all that on here for you guys, and not make it into a video. It's just gonna be into the podcast. But as I was saying, I don't want to watch that show, and it'll be like eight nine o'clock at night when I'm winding down. Laying down in bed, winding down, and I'm watching it, and I pass out. And I had to try to go, try to remember what episode I was on to watch it because with Disney Plus, Prime, Netflix, and all that, it just keeps on going and going and going and going until it stops, and you have to hit continue. With Netflix, it it, it, it would say continue watching, and you have to hit your, your Xbox controller, your 
TV remote, your Apple TV remote, whatever, you have to click on that and hit yes, continue. Ain't okay? So I don't want to miss it and try to go back. So that's why I put those shows on. That's why I like those kind of shows on there. But there are sometimes be like like Disney shows like um like uh Goof Troop and all that that I watched way back in the day in the nineties. I watched them back in the nineties when they were on on Disney after Disney Afternoon Collection. Um great great ones. Sorry if you guys don't know. So I don't have to so you have that on there. Um so you don't have that on there. Um so you don't have that kind of stuff on there, which is okay. But anyways, to get back, so that's my opinion on that, and that's her opinion on that. So gonna be here, guys. Um, so we're gonna get on to some other stuff. So, um, Star Wars: Tale of the Jedi season two officially announced. Um, that's cool. Um, during the 15th anniversary panel, did you announce uh, season two? Um. Let me see if these uh they gave an announce uh so uh, when the release date is for it like next year or the year after um I don't see no release date for that but that's cool I still gotta watch that I still have to watch that all right next one up um. Star Tours update set to bring new bef never before in scenes. Um, Star Tours is getting a new update. Like I said, um, I love how um, if you go to Disneyland and Disney World, um, Disney it comes in with um, updates, not updates. They uh bringing out Star Wars characters into Galaxy's Edge. I love that. I cannot. Wait to go back and see Mando with Grogu. I can't wait to see that. But they are coming out. They are do that with Galaxy's Edge. So you see Kylo Ren. You see Rey. You see Chewbacca. You see Stormtroopers. You see all that stuff. So that is cool there. Okay. It's been one whole year since the reveal of Kingdom Hearts 4. That is so for um I should have said for all everybody that loves playing video games, I'm gonna talk about a game now. My favorite franchise of all time is Kingdom Hearts. Now, I love Kingdom Hearts. I love it. I remember playing it back when I'm when I was in grade school, back at my mom's, playing Kingdom Hearts one for the very first time and beating it. It took me like three days to do it three four days to do it but i just couldn't put it down i love it it's my favorite video game franchise of all time and it's been one whole year since kingdom hearts 4 was announced and i can't wait for kingdom hearts 4 to come once i hear more about once i hear more on kingdom hearts 4 guys i will come in and talk about it here on the podcast Okay, now, if you guys know Dave Filoni and John Favreau's, they do a lot of Star Wars stuff. They do Man, they do Mandalorian, they do the Clone Wars, they do a lot of Star Wars TV shows and stuff like that. They're big, huge Star Wars fans of I know, but the Mandalorian co-creator Dave Filoni is promising. Satisfying congregation con congregations. I, I know I'm pronouncing that way wrong. To season three, aim extremely mixed reviews from audience. Okay, there is mixed reviews from audience for um Mandalorian season three, <sighs> but I love it. I love it. There's two more episodes left. We get one. This Wednesday, and then we get one next Wednesday. So this Wednesday is the... Let me go to my phone real quick. This Wednesday is the 12th, and then next Wednesday is the 19th. Yes, we're getting mixed reviews on it. There is, but I love it. Um, I love it. 
Um, what else is there? It's universal. Okay. Um, I still need to. F I okay. This is another Star Wars show. I need to finish, but I'm gonna get into. I'm gonna get into finish it probably this month before season two comes out next month. But Star Wars Visions. I love the animation for it. The it, it looks like anime kind of vision, like anime kind of style that they throw into it. Love it. And I heard that there's actually people that do anime for a living that's actually doing Star Wars visions. Love it. I can't wait for more. Can't wait for season two. And season two is dropping May 4th. I love it. I still need to finish it. Um, I think I'm on episode two, maybe three. Um, let me see here. I'm pretty sure I'm on like episode two or three. Uh, Star Wars Visions. I'm on ep. <laughs> okay, I'm on episode two. Like I said, I finished episode one. I'm on episode two. It's great. I can't wait for it. Cannot wait. Um, I'm trying to finish up all the Star Wars stuff. And then I'll get into. I'm trying to finish all the Star Wars stuff. Before I get into talking about. Other stuff. Okay yeah that seems about it. With the Star Wars stuff. Um, The future Marvel Star Wars comics. Will be dark. Okay. So if you read your comics on. Apple books or you buy your comics physical because I know a lot of people still are buying their comics physical for me it depends on For me it depends on the com on the comics It depends on for me it depends on the books I'll get physical but anyways, so Here's something for you guys about the books the future of Marvel Star Wars comics will be a dark one we've Got the get the latest Star Wars Salvation reveal in so the future of the comics will be dark ones of the Star Wars ones. So that's cool. I am I um I kind of like it how they're going to Marvel for them to make the Star Wars comics and put them out. So I kind of like that. Um, and I already talked about that. I already talked about Star Wars Visions. Uh, I'm going to keep that saying too. Um, okay, so here we go, guys. So, attention superheroes and theater fan. The story of Steve Rogers, Captain America, coming to life when Rogers, the musical, bursts onto the stage at Disney California Adventure Parks at Disneyland begins June 30th. So that is cool. Um, I I kind I do like the um I kind of like this the uh, theater stuff, but um I haven't watched a lot in my lifetime since I've been alive. I haven't watched that much, but I do kind of like that Star Wars. The theater stuff, the ones I watched was like the Beauty and the Beast one at Disney World, the Lion King one at Disney World. Um, I haven't really watched that. Um, I can't really think of any more I've watched um, since I've been alive, but those are the two I can think of. And I watched like some of them on like YouTube, like some of the ones on like Disney from Disney on YouTube so they're cool I like them I would um I would love to see this but um, I would love to see this so yeah there's that guys so not really much coming out from um there's that um Let's see if I can pick out any other. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so Disney. So that's all the Star Wars stuff that I can think that I grab from YouTube to. I mean, grab from Twitter and bookmark them so I can talk about it with you guys here. 
Um, if you guys have any opinions on that, please put that in the description down below on the Star Wars stuff. Um, yes, you can, um, so there's that. I talked about Magic Bands first, uh, before I talked about the Star Wars stuff, but I should have talked about this too. Um, sorry, I didn't talk about this when I was talking about the cruise lines, but here, this is from Disney. So this is from Disney Cruise Lines on Twitter. Uh, Disney Cruise Lines will welcome guests to Lighthouse. So Lighthouse is Disney's new private island, just like um, Castaway K, Castaway Key, um, um, that that um, the, it's their first private island that they ever had. Um, but um, I would love to go to one of these. I would love to go to one of these ever. I would love to. So if I ever do go on a cruise, Disney cruise, my first, well, my first cruise ever, I will bring, I will vlog it, like, like I will. Um, I will go to Castaway K or Lighthouse. I don't know which one. It depends on what cruise ship I go on. But I will go to that port or whatever they, whatever they call it. Um, but Lighthouse Point. For the first time in summer 2024, this one of a kind island destination will be a unique celebration celebration of Baha Bahaman Bahaman culture brought to life with a quality and served of Disney vacation. So that's cool. Um, I'm gonna see real quick. See if I can get the dates. See if I can get the dates here. Um, um, so it only says 2023. As I'm looking on Disney Parks blog, so it only says 2023. Um, that's okay. Yeah. What I'm getting from these pictures, right? What I'm getting from, what I'm getting from these pictures, it looks beautiful. But I know these are probably like concept art. It's not actually like concept art. It's not actually. I don't think there's actually pictures. They, they, they grabbed a camera and took pictures there, but it's like concept art, which is fine, but it looks beautiful. Totally, totally, totally beautiful. Like, oh my God, type thing. Oh, um, um, let's see. So here we go, guys. We got a release date. For the Muppets of Mayhem. Um, if you guys know, if you guys are are here from my pot from my YouTube, you guys know I'm a really, really, really big fan of the Muppets. I love the Muppets. I mean, remember watching the Muppets when I was a wee, literally a wee, a wee lad and stuff like that. Um, I seen the the teaser trailer for the Muppets of Mayhem. Um, I hope before next month. I hope before next month they come out with a tr an actual full trailer of it and not a teaser trailer. I hope they come out with a full trailer of The Muppets of Mayhem. But Muppets of Mayhem, all episodes drop on Disney Plus May 10th. And May 10th is... I know that's either a Friday or a Wednesday. I know that. Yep, May 10th is a, is a Wednesday. So that drops May 10th. I can't wait. I want more Muppets stuff to come. Please, Disney, can you please come out with another Muppet movie? Can you please come out with more um um Muppet TV show stuff or something like that? Um let me see here real quick. Like we got Muppets now. Please come up with more of that. Um, yeah, that's all I can see here right now. 
Um, How Muppets Haunted Mansion was really, really good. Um, I can't wait to watch that again this year for Halloween. But yeah, so Muppets Mayhem dropped May 10th. Can't wait for that. Um, So, um, there's not really much else I can bring up for you guys here on on um on disney right now um so that is all for me today this is um almost like an hour long thing so that's all for me today guys um pre that's all for me and caitlin that long as she could be here for um please hit that subscribe button if you guys are new uh it comes along it helps more than you think like the video it helps a lot more than you guys think and i'm gonna try to do this podcast um once i'm gonna try to do this podcast once a week uh probably on sundays i'll try to do it a lot on sundays um i'll probably try to push it out a lot on sundays for you guys um but yeah guys sorry this is like it was bouncing around and stuff like that um, this is the first time I ever did a podcast. Um, my first ever podcast ever. I listened to a lot of podcasts like Inside Disney, um, D23, Inside Disney podcast. Um, I've been I listened to a lot of podcasts on Apple Podcasts. But um, yeah, so sorry this is like jumping around and stuff like that, guys. But yeah, guys. So this is me, Match with Eight Oh. Um, I love you all. Um, I love you all. Thank you all for stopping by in this podcast. I love you all. And I'll catch you all in my next daily vlog, stream, or podcast real soon.